What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again and today I want to talk about another data structure that's similar to a binary tree but it has some kind of uh, di some different rules and some different quirks but I really like it because it's simple and I feel I can explain it well. So without ado let's get into the heap data structure. So as you can see here a heap looks a lot like a binary tree if you know what that is. But, but a heap is classified by its order. And what a heap does is it, it retains two rules. One is that the parent is always greater than the child and that it's always a complete tree. And so by complete tree means every single row is filled. Every row is filled just like, like the first row is filled, the second row is filled, except for the last row. But the last row must have its nodes going from left to right. So for instance, all the nodes are filled here when you start at left and then the emptiness starts at the rightmost side. So that's a complete tree. But also, what I said, the parent must always be bigger than the child. In this example, that is not true. But that is, um, what I mean by that is that the parent must be greater than the child relative to the child. So this would be called actually a min heap because I am saying the minimum element is the greatest element, has the greatest power. You can also have a max heap, which we'll see in a second, is where the maximum element has the most power. So as you can see, 100 is the root of the node, which is which is what I want. And then see, as you can see, 19 is greater than 17 and 3. And then the two children of 2 and 7 are less than 17. And as you can see, this again is a complete tree where 2 and 7 all the way to the left. And then the other children of these nodes are incomplete. So another thing about heaps is they can be represented in an array. You know, if you're going to make a heap, you want to just use an array. You don't need, you don't, you can use, you can use generics, but really you don't want to use a tree structure. You just want to use an array. And the reason because it's going to be how you're switching around the tree. So for instance here, I have five, nine, and 11. And you'll notice I have the zero in the beginning. And that's because in this example, I am not using position zero. Position zero is kind of just like a null value. It's a blank value that we're not really using. It's just a holder value and we're never going to touch that. But I have five, nine, 11, 14, 18. And if you can see here, these nodes are going from top to bottom, left to right. So for instance, 5 is the first element, then 9, then I go right, 11, now I go to the next row, which is all the way on the left, 14, 18, 19, 21, 33, 17, 27. And the thing that's special about this array is that, I mean, yes, this array is that heap has a special property in how you can find the children. So for instance, let's look at 5 here. Its childs are 11 or sorry, its childs are 9 and 11. And the way to find a child is to simply take the position of, wh of whatever node you have and times it by 2. And if you times it by 2, that will always be the left child. And then if I did um, 2n plus 1, so take the position times 2 plus 1, that will give me my right child. And you can try this on anything else. For instance, on 9, it's at position 2. 2 times 2 is 4 which is the left child, 14 at position 4, and then 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5, which is 18, which is my right child. So that always works. And then kind of oppositely, let's say I wanted the, the parent of 27. So 27 doesn't have any children, but it does have a parent. So the way to do that is simply take the position and do n divided by 2. So n divided by 2, 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5, which is 18, which is my parent. And this works for the left and right child. For instance, 19 right here is not a right child. 21, 7. So if I do 7 divided by 2, that's 3.5. But I'm going to round it down to 3. You always round it down. I round it down to the integer like in computing. And I'm going to get 11, which is my parent. So that so that's a simple way to kind of, that's the way I can exchange or switch elements in the array as we'll show. So now we're going to talk about insertion. So insertion really is pretty easy. And what we do is simply, what you want to do is you want to add it to the slot. You want to, first of all, start, you want to insert it at the empty slot, which in the complete tree is the next empty slot going from left to right. So for instance, right here in the source heap on the left here, we're going to try to, we're going to insert negative two right here. We're going to insert it to the, as the right child of six. And then what I'm going to do is no matter what element is, I'm going to look at the parent by doing my n divided by two in the array and say, okay, does that child need to be moved up? In the case of inserting negative two in a min heap, it does need to be moved up. So I'm going to flop six and negative two. 
I'm going to flop 6 and negative 2. So now negative 2 is right here, and 6 is right here. And so then I'm going to I'm going to keep on doing this until I get stopped. So then I'm going to do, okay, is negative 2 greater than 1? In this case, it's a min heap, so yes it is. So then I switch that, and you get, you get what you get on the right. Negative 2 is now the root, and now I'm done with that. So that's pretty cool. And now we're going to talk about another thing called deletion. And so deletion is usually kind of the hardest thing with a tree. So really the thing in deletion though is you don't delete any node. You you just delete the root because in a min and max heap, you really use it only because you want the minimum or maximum of your data structure. You don't really want care about any other elements. You just care about the minimum or maximum. So maybe you just care about the high point of a statistical analysis. But that's all you're going to care about in a heap. So you can you only really have a remove a remove root method, which could be your minimum or maximum position depending on what type of heap you have. So right there, so right now, what you want to do is you want to remove your root, just like here. I want to get rid of four, and what I want to do is I want to replace that with my bottom rightmost element. So what is you know what is the rightmost bottomest on the complete tree? And the way so in this case that's eight. So I'm going to push that to eight, and then what I'm going to do here is I am going to I'm going to shuffle eight down. And I, what I'm, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna bring eight down, and I'm gonna purposely, you know, make the tree right again because now that I moved eight down, and this is a min heap. Eight is not the minimum element, so that cannot be the root. Five is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my two children. I'm gonna look at my two children, and I'm gonna swap with which element is the greatest element. So that way I bring up the greatest element. So now my greatest element is now the new root node, and everything is fine. In this case of a min heap. Five, the smallest number, has the most power, is the most powerful. So I'm going to swap with five. And then as you can see right here in my bottom in this bottom part in this bottom picture, that that array is now fine. I have now removed that. I have now kind the heap is now following the right order. Five is the lowest element, has the most power, six, and then eight, and then nine. So it still fits the rules that five five is less than six and eight, and nine is less than six. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day.